Hello YouTube, the gun nut here. It's another great day to be an American. Let freedom reign. Today on the bench I have a box that I recently received in the mail. I picked this up from Brownells and without uh, further ado, let's take a look at what I got. So this is a Radical Firearms Upper and you can see there the model number is FU18. 223W stain SS15 RPR BMD. What that means is it's an 18 inch barrel in 223 wild chamber, stainless steel. It's a 15 inch uh, handguard. It's a radical, I don't remember what the PR stands for. And it's a BMD muzzle brake. And it's made in Texas. So let's go ahead and take a look at this upper. We'll start at the muzzle end and work our way back. So this is a, I guess, a BMD muzzle brake or flash hider combination. Here you can see that uh, the barrel is marked 223 with a 1 in 8 twist. Here you can see the gas block. Handguard, kind of like the looks of the handguard, the shape of it if you will. You can see it is a M-Lock compatible handguard. Here you can see how it uh, attaches to the upper. It does have these anti-rotate uh, notches that go on either side of the upper. And you can see the screws down here that clamp it on. Uh, you'll notice that the upper does not have any markings on it, so nothing too uh, impressive there. But it's just kind of a, your standard upper, if you will. It is, like I said, an 18 inch barrel. Here you can see the upper is obviously built with uh, the cover. It's got the forward uh, assist. That it does not come with a uh, bolt carrier group or a charging handle. The big uh, reason I picked up this upper is, well, it was on sale. And it was only $219.99 from Brownells. And I wanted to get an 18 inch barreled upper, or at least an 18, maybe a 20 inch barreled upper to use for varmint hunting and I thought this would be uh, worth the worth giving it a try anyways at that price I couldn't really pass it up so I do believe this is a rifle length gas system I'm gonna go ahead and get it uh, set up with a scope mounted and get it on one of my lowers I have this uh, primary arms 4 to 14 power which I think will be very a very good fit for this upper so I'm gonna go ahead and Get that uh, scope mounted on and throw it on one of my lowers and we'll go ahead and show you how it looks. All right, I went ahead and I got my primary arms 4 to 14 power scope mounted to the upper and in an aero precision mount and the lower that I put it on was my CMMG lower and this lower has the uh, deluxe tactical ergo grip the Magpul ACS, uh, I believe it's ACS stock, and I have a velocity trigger in it, and I have a BCM charging handle. I went ahead and put in a the bolts. Uh, it's a Palmetto State uh, bolt carrier and bolt. I have a Strike Industries uh, bolt release on it. Uh, just your standard safety and I'm excited to get this uh, gun out to the range now and see how this Radical firearms upper shoots Well, I was able to get out and shoot this radical firearms upper uh, in this configuration and The results were pretty good. I, uh, I did not have any reliability issues. I shot a couple different types of uh, ammunition through it and it is also pretty flat shooting uh, with that um, muzzle brake on the front. So, and it was not excessively loud either. So I think overall I was really impressed with how soft shooting it is with that rifle length uh, system. I haven't shot a rifle length gun before and it was pretty impressive. So we'll go ahead here and take a look at our uh, shooting results. The first thing I did was obviously sighted in the scope. So these were my first uh, five shots. It was Fiocchi 55 grain full metal jacket. So those five shots went to 1.69 inches. I then adjusted the scope, but I, uh, I just adjusted it twice as far as needed. But then I uh, corrected my mistake and shot three more shots, also with 55 grain 
Fiocchi and three shots went in a 0 0.92 inches. So not a bad uh, little three shot group and pretty close to being uh, sighted in. So then I shot a few different types of ammunition. All this was at 100 yards and we had uh, 60 degrees Fahrenheit and it was uh, 15 to 20 mile per hour wind. So we definitely had some wind to contend with. So we had 60 grain uh, VMAX. Uh, this was Freedom Munitions, just some re, um, reloads or, um, yeah, reloads from them. Four shots went into 1.28 inches. And then I shot Fiocchi 69 grain, so you're a match king. And four shots went into 1.73. I was really expecting those to shoot better. And then we shot some uh, 55 grain Hornady soft point uh, with cannulure. And this is just uh, it's a real cheap bullet that I reload just for volume shooting. And four shots went into 1.99 inches. And then I went ahead and shot uh, a few of my 60 grain VMAX uh, reloads with uh, Reloader 15, 25 grains, and we had four shots going to 0 0.64 inches, and the fifth shot it opened, opened it up to 0 0.93 inches. So it's showing some good promise there. Uh, I also shot uh, 69 grain Gorilla Sierra Match Kings, and four of the five went into 1.16, and the fifth opened it up to 1.66. And then I shot some uh, 75 green Hornady Black, and we had four shots going to 1.28 inches. And I think that was it. So I thought this upper performed pretty well, considering this was uh, brand new straight out of the box. With, uh, you know, and I was doing barrel breaking as well, so I was cleaning every five rounds or so. Uh, so I'm pretty excited. I think this upper will shoot, will shoot good. Uh, I should be able to get uh, loads that will definitely be under one MOA. And I'm going to be, you know, spending some more time on it, breaking it in, and then getting it out with uh, some more hand loads, fine-tuning some stuff specifically for this gun. And I'll report back and let you guys know uh, what kind of accuracy we end up with. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on this Radical Firearms 18-inch upper. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe. You guys be safe out there.